All right, guys, so this one's for you guys out there that are extremely analytical, for, for you guys out there that turn strongman into a math problem. I understand it. It's, it's very common. It's one of those things. It's, it puts it in a box where you can understand it, right? And the, the intrigue of something like that is it's huge. It makes sense. You know, I wish, I wish I could break strongman down into a math problem and figure it out. But the truth is, is it doesn't work that way. There's, there's so many variables. There's so many different things that come in, come into play when you're training and when you're competing. Having a little bit more carbs, having a little bit more sleep, having a fight with your girlfriend, stressed out because your mom's sick, you know, having bills to pay, all these things affect your strength. They affect your mood. They affect everything about you. So when I train, I don't come in with a math problem that I'm gonna solve. I'm not gonna do exactly this number this many times and I'm gonna get this strong in this, this time period. That's not how it works. What I do is I have an outlay, an, 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 uh, an outline, and I'll show up and I know, I know my goals. My goals, like for today, I want a shoulder pump I want to feel a nice chest work with the heavy weight. I want to feel heavy weight over the chest and I want a shoulder pump from hell. And then I want to hit all the other accessory muscles around it. So that that becomes its own quest by itself. It's not, it's not this many sets, this many reps at this weight. It doesn't work that way. So I, I find it much more effective if you can learn your body, if you can listen to yourself, and you can gauge what uh, type of maximal effort you're putting out. So when I write a program for somebody and I say I want to see five sets of three at 75%, I mean 75% of that day, of that moment. When you're in the gym, if, if your 75% feels super easy and it feels like, man, I could do this 100 times, well then go heavier, that's not 75% that day. If you go in the gym and your 75% of your official max feels like fucking the Lord is pushing it down over your throat, then that's, that's not your 75% that day either. A lot of people have a tough time with that because it, it becomes, uh, you're more responsible for being honest with yourself. You have, to, you have to come into the gym and you can't take it easy because of that and you can't kill yourself because of that. You don't wanna do a bro lift and max out every day and you don't wanna come in here and not work. It, the mentality of it is one of the hardest parts of the sport and if you can get it to where you actually train with an honest percentage, then you are, you're winning on both ends of that spectrum. It's, it's not an easy thing to do and the sport's not easy to do. It's, it's, it's what's best to do. So, as I always say, I don't even know. I don't know, I don't know, whatever, whatever, whatever. So, uh, Let me know if, if you need anything else. If you'd like to uh, send me naked pictures of your girlfriends, or, you know, like cakes, pies, a good pie, you just put a comment in, in the section below, like that questions, anything like that. We're here to make you guys better. We're here, we, want, we want you to get what you need out of this. So if you've got more specific questions or if, if you're just trying to figure out something that's more directly to you, just put a comment down there and let us get back to you.